It's a real cool feeling to be first on the block. I, I, I like it. It's easy to use. Um, touching the screen is effortless. I think as electronic magazines go, this is really built well for a magazine. The color screen, color magazines, it works just great. The pages pop, they look really phenomenal on this. The iPad has a larger screen, so it gives you a more immersive experience while playing games. You get higher resolution, uh, greater details in the graphics, and the accelerometer um, allows you to uh, really get into the games. As an e-reader, it's got its highs and lows. The color screen, the, the quickness because it's a faster processor, helps a lot for reading books, but um, it's large for, large for an e-book reader, it's heavy. You will need to be able to put this down somewhere or lean it on something in order to get through any, any kind of book at all. I found typing remarkably easy because uh, of the responsiveness of the keyboard and, and, the, and the spacing of the keys. The iPad is uh, superior to every other tablet computer that we've seen before, but it's not a perfect device. We tried charging these on your typical computers, whether they were Macs or PCs. It was a bit hit or miss. Apple actually says it's meant to be charged on their AC adapter and that's it. It means when you're reading it or syncing it, it will not be charging from your computer, which is more typical of just about every other device out there. A couple of things that, that bug me. It's a smudge magnet. You're going to have to clean it real often. It has a nice bright screen. However, the surface is mirror-like, and you will get uh, very, very strong reflections. The reflections can get very annoying. As a multi-purpose device, I think it's a very good first step for all of these devices. Uh, for any one particular function, it may be a bit much, it is a bit pricey, but when you throw all of the uh, features together, you actually get a very good device. Mm -hmm.